do a spring like ambiance for you guys usually you know i do like the fireplace which you can see very well but i feel like that might be kind of hard to see because um they're like doing like a sun moment in the middle but i don't know i think i'm gonna turn it off because i think it's kind of blinding all right that's better we're just gonna keep it ultra casual today i feel like my brain is moving did my voice just crack? I feel like my brain is moving pretty slow today. So if you feel like my energy's down, it's really not. I'm just, I'm just feeling more relaxed, but also just like going at a slower pace. It's about almost 11. I'm just having a cup of coffee, which, you know, three sips is really all I can do. I love this cup. It has um, Dorothy on it. No, I will not have a nice day. What? Probably the best line in Golden Girls. It's kind of hard to say because there's so many said by all four of them. But anyways, so I got a cup of coffee. I feel like going at a leisurely pace today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys what I found at Dollar Tree because they put out some really cute things that you should definitely scoop up quick if you want to do some kind of like sleepover maybe for the kids and do like a little theme or a birthday party and you know what i'm gonna show those to you first because like you know let's let's just do it i mean you guys No, they didn't. But yes, they did. Lollipop bath sponge on these little like wooden sticks. What? Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like, you know what? That also like for a care package, you could do a little spa beauty theme and this would just be absolutely darling. So they did a pink lollipop, a purple and pink, and then a blue and pink. And I think all the colors they chose are just perfection. I grabbed every color I saw. So I don't know if there's more. If there's more, please comment and let us know what you have found at your Dollar Tree. Cause by now I know all of you know how notorious Dollar Tree is for just the stores not being kind of equal in their supplies, I guess you could say. Or inventory, I think that's the better word. All right, but then next to that, they also had these, which I think there's just, is it just two, but not the cute little lollipop too. And this is like the push pops, which God, I love those. I forgot, I completely forgot about those, but is it only two that I found? It probably is, but let me just kind of dig through here just to be sure. I think it was just two and what these are I know there's a lot of like labels kind of blocking it, but these are sponge, sponges, like makeup sponges. It says a sponge popsicle and you get five piece in here. So I'll show you this way so you can see each color of the sponge, but that's just so cute. Also Easter basket, right? For like a preteen teen and to makeup, you know, just for fun. So super cute. I mean, look at this. What? And I have a gut feeling there's like more to this little candy thing that they're doing, but this was all that I saw. All right, now let me show you guys their garden flags, which are really cute. And even then I'm sure you could craft with them as well and not just like use them for a garden flag. Why am I, I don't know, I thought, I feel like, this haul that I did, I'm kind of missing some things. And I think the same thing happened in the last video. But let me just show you anyways. Oh, here's, here it is. So I found the garden flags. However, when I saw them, I feel pretty positive that they're the same prints they put out last year, which is fine because they're really cute. So here's what it looks like. And you just get the flag I think, yeah, you just get the flag, so you're gonna need the steak, but Dollar Tree sells those too. I actually hauled one not too long ago. So we have a cute little farmhouse one with the rooster, and then we have this one 
here. I'm going to open up one of these just so you can see how big it is. You know what? No. I'm going to open up all of them. Like, you know? I want you guys to see. I don't know why I just don't open up everything. Not because I don't want to. It's just habit, I think. But here's what that one looks like. And then here's what this one looks like. Super cute. You could even like do it as a wreath because they have like this little thing. There's that. And then the next one is the flamingos, which I remember this one. And the, the weather vane. I remember that one too. That's why I feel like they didn't really... Maybe they have maybe they are updating and maybe this is like inventory that my store still had from like the previous year, you know, and they're just putting stuff out that they had in the back room kind of thing. That could be, you know, a reason. And then this one is our gnomes. This one's the one where I'm kinda not sure. So if you remember, comment and let us know. But if you're into gnomes, here's what it looks like. I will say very very papery not so much a cloth material so in the wind i don't know all right so those are the four that i found with that and then i also found the most beautiful vase and actually my jaw dropped in the store when i saw it because the first thing i did instinctively was i looked right around it to see if it was like a bonus item because one of the areas I feel like Dollar Tree lacks a little bit is their glassware, but look how gorgeous this is. It's like ombre effect from pink to purple. What? Gorgeous, perfect timing for spring. So I found that one. And then while we're on home decor, I also found these, which these are a must. Like go grab these because for $1.25, like are you kidding me, right? Here's what I'll say. See how they did home? Like home is done perfectly, but love, they should have cut that part out right there. They should have laser cut that out like they did right here. You know what I mean? But like, there it is. Maybe the other ones are laser cut out. Maybe it's just like this one, you know, just kind of didn't make it through the machine or whatever, but still very cute. And this black one is my favorite. And I would put it in the center of a wreath. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that and I'll insert a clip so you guys kind of see what it looks like. But so pretty. A little mini wreath within a wreath. Love that. All right. So I found that. And then I also found a wall shelf. I did the same thing. I looked for like the bonus price tag. But nope, this rang up $1.25 look how cute that is and even if you don't want this for a shelf but you love crafting and diys this plank of wood right here and all this material right here i'm sure you know could be great for deconstructing and doing something else um so anyways i've done that all right what's next i think in my last video i said i was missing a pack of bows just in case you caught it, here they are. The other bows are already put upstairs, but um, these are the little mini bows and Dollar Tree's selling a bunch of packs with like a variety of colors. So there's that one. And then what do I do next? Okay, let's look at some stickers because these are gold and really, really cute. I love these because they're gonna be really great for journaling, especially like vintage journaling. And I love the bicycle right here. Oh, look at the watering can. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then here's this one, a little flower. And then this one, which is like a little birthday theme. I love the banner. You guys, this gold one, these gold ones are a must. Like if you're into journaling, scrapbooking, friend mail, swaps, all those things, grab these. They also had a fourth option, which were butterflies. I don't know why I, I didn't get it, so, but. And they, there might have been like a fifth option too, I don't remember. But that's what I picked up on this one trip. And then I also picked up these, the spa line, the April showers line right here, which has been at Dollar Tree for as long as I can literally remember. Um, this is a six piece exfoliating facial loofah. And I was just like, what? So I feel like these are definitely new. And look, it shows you, um, 
with water and without water. So it definitely expands. But yeah, so I got that for my skincare routine. And then while we're on that little topic, I found some hair masks. Um, I found these two, which is, these are brand new by the way. Like they've never sold these at Dollar Tree before. I mean, they've sold hair masks before, but not this style right here. So we've got one with coconut milk and honey and then lavender and tea tree. I'm very excited. I need to check the ingredients on the back, but um, the packaging's really pretty too for like a gift basket. And then I also found a bunch of new like body scrubs from Bolero. So first I found this little set and you can see like looking at it straight away, they like look the same or like they're in the same collection. There are body scrub, cucumber, and green tea. So pretty, I love the spring colors. This one's pineapple and fresh mint. This right here, I've never seen a combination like that. So I'm very excited for this one. And then this one is watermelon and aloe. So, so pretty. So I found those. And then I also found after shower whipped body cream. And this is what, let me just grab this one. This is what the um, set looks like. Very floral, very spring as well. And that just makes me so excited. I love when we get to see like the rest of Dollar Tree like stuff also kind of go with the seasons. Cause you know, usually like they have like the holiday section up front and then everything's holiday there. But if you look throughout the rest of the store, you'll find seasonal things as well. So this one is watermelon and beach rose. Yeah, a whipped body cream. This one is eucalyptus and lavender. This one's probably my favorite packaging. The leafing and like the outline of the black, I just really like it. This one is cucumber and chamomile. Love that, love the little chamomile flower. And then we have vanilla bean and coconut. And it's also Bolero. I mean, they nailed it. They nailed the packaging on, on all of these. Honestly, Bolero has the best packaging probably in, in all of like the beauty related items at Dollar Tree. All right, so I think that's it for the beauty. Now I'll show you guys some like Easter -y things that I found. I found some pom-pom trim. What? No, they didn't. These are so cute and these are gonna be great for obviously a lot of like DIYs and crafting. Um, I'm gonna link another YouTuber down below. I've been like really into watching crafting videos and she does like this junk journal and she uses trim. And I've never really looked at trim from that point of view. So I'm just like really excited, you know, to kind of like use these in the same way that she did. Her name's Rebecca and yeah, so I'll link her video down below, or her channel down below. So, super pretty. You would think there would be like pink in this for the Easter, but that's what I found. And then these cute little Easter lollipops came back. So cute, they were out last year. These two are eggs, by the way, in case you can't really tell what they are. A bunny, a chick, and a carrot. Oh, so adorable. Great for like styling, coffee bars, things like that. Those would be really cute. Also great for Easter baskets. And then I found these, which, what? These are definitely brand new, 100%. They did not do these last year, at least at my stores they didn't. These are shaped gift bags and a carrot. Super, super darling. Um, and you could also stuff these if you wanted to and make like carrot like carrot decor, um, you know, place it in a tear tray or kind of around your house. Instead of using them as a little gift bag, just stuff it with like cotton or something. Um, and then like, there you go. So, and finally, I have been wondering if I was ever gonna find these, but the tin cans are out and these are also brand new, super cute, great for decor and styling. Here is the gnome. And I love the size of these pails. And then we have the little vintage truck. They did it right. There's a lot going on, but 
I like it. Usually I feel like sometimes with the print, Dollar Tree can like overdo it or it just doesn't look right. Color combinations aren't there, but every single one of these, I love what they've done. Like this one, look how simple this is. They didn't add any words. They just kind of let the carrots do all the talking. Like that is just so cute. I'll just say that this one isn't like centered properly. Does that make sense? It's hard to tell on camera, but it needs to be like, I don't know, it's just not centered. Okay, then I found um, these mailing seals by Jot and I had to share them right away because these are definitely brand new mailing seals. I guess like if you're mailing an envelope of some sort, yeah, because there are these little dots. So I guess if you wanted to like seal, oh, look at that. I thought they were gonna be white. That is really cool. Great for crafting too, I imagine. So there we go. And then I can't, could I remember if Dollar Tree's done this before? Somebody let me know. I don't think I've hauled these before. But voila, which is the Dollar Tree like party section, put out icing. Decorating icing, you guys. And I grabbed every color they had. Why do I feel like blue's missing from this? If you watch my vlog, you'll know. You'll just know. You'll know everything about this dog and what he eats. But anyways, these are all of the colors. So we've got pink right here. And you know what this would be really good for? I think if you want to maybe start, you know, making like your own company of making cookies and cupcakes or whatever out of your home, these would be great to kind of practice on because um, of the price, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's what I found at Dollar Tree. And I think that's it. Yeah, I need to take another sip of my coffee. So, you know. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I love just honestly feeling more laid back in today's video. Sometimes we know. We know I'm over the top. It's nice to, to chill out because Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree likes to knock me off my socks sometimes. And I just can't help my reaction to things. But anyways, I kind of feel like still talking still rambling but i don't know what to say i mean i cleaned the house this morning so that feels really good um and the library the library is officially coming out saturday it's official and the reason why it's coming out saturday not tuesday is just because i'm waiting on up these prints that i ordered from etsy which will actually hopefully get here monday or tuesday um, but then I have a couple of little like touches to pick up from Hobby Lobby and like that's it. So other than these prints coming from Etsy, all of the furniture, the big pieces of furniture are already here. It's already been in place. I've been filming as I've been doing it. So essentially it's finished. So I cannot wait for you guys to see it, which also means that I can actually officially do a full on house tour and I've been living here for over two years. But listen, we got here, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's it. Thank you for letting me ramble and I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon, bye.